this is a wreath basics tutorial for those interested in how I take three rolls of 10 inch mesh, cut them and make my cruffles to put on a 14 inch wire frame. Okay, so I have my two uh, 10 inch mesh here and uh, what I'm gonna do is roll them out together because I it just kind of helps me when I'm making my wreaths. Now, I'm starting at the 10 inch, uh, kind of the 10 inch mark and uh, I'm gonna roll them out to about uh, probably between 13 and 14 inches because this is Walmart mesh where it's a little bit thinner. And so I usually make my cruffles, which how I uh, put my, you know, roll it together, uh, the design that I do. But since this is a little bit thinner, I'm going to go to the 20, um, 24 mark. So that is going to give me two pieces of 14 inch that I'm going to put together. And so I'll cut um, the, this whole, all of the, both of these rolls at 14 inches and I got about 12 uh, out of the first set. I got about 12 bundles out of it. So how I um, make my cruffles is, let me move my, my little clamps out of the way so you can see. Um, I get these little clamps that are, I buy, I bought these at Dollar Tree, both of these. These were in the laundry section. This was in the crafter square section and I don't know, they just help me, uh, with my wreath making. Anyway, so I'm going to make a, a cruffle. And so how I do that is, um, I just take one end and I bend it over. Um, I'm going to bend it over three times and then I'm going to clamp it with one of these pink clips, turn it around. Um, I bend this over uh, like the edge of it, roll it three times and then I gather it in the middle and then I go on the top like where it looks like, I'll call it a taco, uh, where I have two rolls like that. And then I put that to the side. So then I do the same thing for the other one. And, um, you know, some wreath makers like put something there to kind of help themselves hold it. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. So I just, I bend the ends over and then I flip it two, three times. And then I just take my clamp, clamp it, gonna turn it around, do the same thing on this side, bend the edge over, then roll it once, twice, three times. Then I gather it in the middle to make my taco. So then I have these two like this. And so then what I use these for is this is just what helps me. I take those clamps out and I make sure that my folds are on top and I make an X. I just hold those together like that. And then now that's ready for my third, uh, my snowball mesh, which I haven't cut yet. I'll do that next. Uh, but since these, th these first two came out, uh, I did these first and I was going to just use this. Um, but then I decided, now I'm going to put some, some more of the snowball mesh in it. So I'm going to cut those next. I'm going to use the snowball mesh. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to cut these. Actually, I'm going to cut these at 12 inches since it's a little bit nicer mesh and also it's a little better quality. Uh, so I started on the 10. So I'm going to go to the 22. Just use my rotary cutter. And usually I cut a whole bunch at one time, but for video purposes, I'm just kind of sharing my process. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bend over the edge, then I'm gonna roll just two times since this is a 12 inch uh, mesh. I cut it at 12 inches. So I'm gonna bend over, then I'm gonna roll it two times. Then I gather it in the middle to make my taco. And as you can see, this is a little bit better, better mesh, better mesh. And anyway, so then I just clamp it like that. So then now I have my uh, bigger one uh, or, you know, with the other two. And so 
Uh, I'm going to start putting on my mesh and um, once I, I don't know if I'm going to go on the top or if I'm going to go on the bottom, but I'll determine that once I start putting it on with my pipe cleaners. Okay, I have my form here and I usually just start on a bar on the inner ring and uh, I'm going to take one of my pipe cleaners and just go um, through the first two bars and I just kind of hold it like that and then now I just have my uh, silver mesh and my white mesh from Walmart. Now I'm taking one of these from Hobby Lobby and I decided I'm going to put that underneath it so it kind of looks like that and I offset it just a tad kind of like XX just to offset them and uh, so then I'm just Hold it down. Now, I know some wreath makers put their pipe cleaners on first. I don't do it like that. So, you know, this is just, <laughs> just the way I do it. So I kind of twist it two times just to get it to hold. And so then I will continue to do, let me do another bundle. Um, so I have my silvery, uh, I mean my blue, silvery mesh and my white mesh and then I have this one from Hobby Lobby. This one is from Walmart. This one from Hobby Lobby. I put it underneath because I just want that snow. I want a hint of that snowball mesh. A hint of it. Um, meaning I want it just peeking out. Um, anyway, so then now that I, I went on the inner uh, ring on the on the first one, then I go on the outer two rings on the second one, like that. And so I have them all pulled together. Just gather them. And then I just twist it two times just to hold it. And then I will continue next, go on the inner ring, then I'll go to the outer ring, then I'll go to the inner ring until I get the fullness of the wreath uh, that I like. Okay, so here is uh, where I'm at at the moment, and I have two, some little space right here that I'm going to put two more, and that will be a total of 20 bunches of uh, these three 10 inch deco mesh. So I'm just going to share here how I just uh, kind of, you know, close it up. So I just uh, go in, you know, like a zigzag pattern, and, you know, just with my pipe cleaners, just on the top ring and then I go to the bottom ring and then I go on the top ring and uh, you know there are uh, tons and tons and tons of wreath makers and more and more are joining this wonderful you know uh, community and uh, so every wreath maker kind of finds their own way of doing things and uh, so you know I pick up different tips and you know different things from watching other wreath makers and so you know, so then now I'm putting my last one on my, on the outer ring. And uh, so anyway, you know, you just kind of find different um, shortcuts, different tips that work for you and just learn different things. And so that you can, you know, figure out what, what kind of works for you. So anyway, again, this is a 14 inch you know, wire. And uh, I have 20 of these like silver blue. They're more dusty blue than silver, uh, white and snowball mesh. 20 bundles on this room.